Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Derek, or you just know me as Panther6 for the last few years. Um, I kind of want to go ahead and make this video. This is a Let's Talk, and um, it's something, it's kind of, it's, it's breaking my heart a little bit. It's kind of put me down, but it might not be the right time, and things can always get better. So, if you guys have been following me on Twitter lately, I've been talking about um, some stuff that's been going on in my life. Um, as well as this idea I have as for a game store that also helps out, you know, people that suffer from anxiety disorders like depression or if they've been abused or anything like that. And I started a Kickstarter as well as a GoFundMe account. And there's been a couple supporters. We did, we haven't really got much in terms of donations. We got a few. And I do think everybody has contributed. Um, but as it stands right now, uh, both the GoFundMe and Kickstarter um, accounts, I went ahead and canceled them. Uh, they've been up for a little over a month now, and you know I've been told by a bunch of people that, hey, it's not worth it, uh, you're going to fail. Um, and right now is probably not the best time to start it, just due to the fact that all the problems that's going on in my life, um, especially financial issues, um, I'll be having to file Chapter 7 bankruptcy soon, as well as uh, my car be about to be repossessed. And I don't think it would have been fair to say if I got that money from Kickstarter and GoFundMe to use that money for you know, ways to get me out of the hole, which I don't want to do that. I want that money just to go solely for that position, rather be to help upgrade the machine for better videos, as well as a green screen, and get the down payment for the shop. Um, and I just don't want to do it. It's not really the right time. And plus, all the people that's kind of went out of their way and tell me, you know, it's just not going to work. Don't waste your time. Uh, so uh, depression and anxiety is not really popular and even though I my intentions were pure and I had great intentions and I really wanted it to happen um, I just couldn't spark enough interest or engagement now I've people ask me you know what have I done to try to get people's attention on this well I've passed out flyers th throughout the surrounding towns and even as far as um, at local game stops, uh, card shops, and uh, also had people down from where I used to live um, do the same thing, and they helped out. And um, we've tried a huge uh, campaign for um, social media via Facebook, um, Twitter, Reddit, uh, Mgur, you name it. And though there's been some shares, I'm highly thankful for that. That's that's what I'm totally thankful for. Um, it's just the fact that. You know, I'm in this part of my life where everything seems to be falling apart, and I don't want it to be that way. And I'm trying to get myself, uh, you know, I wake up every day, I'm hoping things will get better, and I'm hoping it does. Um, but bits and pieces come together, though it might not come to fruition or might not ever happen. Um, bits and Pieces as a whole will still be the name of this channel. Uh, the brand will leave, uh, live on throughout these YouTube videos. And I appreciate every single one of you guys that came out, uh, support, commented, liked, either came on to the live streams on Twitch or uh, interacted with me on social media. That means a whole lot to me, it really does. And who knows, maybe one of these days if the channels take off, uh, we can try this again. Now, there are some chances there might be some things happening in the next few months. Uh, I've been applying for a few jobs back uh, home in Ohio, as well as the surrounding areas that way. Because um, right now there's just not really much. The job I have is barely, it's barely helping us. And like I said, I will, uh, I will have to file Chapter 7 because right now there's just no way I can pay uh, anything. But that's life. That's like we all have our setbacks. I'm, you know, I just turned 29 years old. I'm not exactly where I want to be in life, but, you know, I guess we all kind of stumble and fall. And I've had my fair shares of just, you know, absolute stumbling, and <laughs> I usually got myself back up again. Um, I'm getting more involved, trying to get myself involved with church, because um, it seems to help out. Um, the preacher at my church, he's, you know, he talks to me, um, and I talk to my friends and family all the time. 
but I'm still going to produce content for you guys. Um, and so, as, so I'm just not going to be a change in that. There may be times where I might not have new content out for maybe a week or so, but you know. But I'm going to keep you guys updated as time goes. Now, if you guys want to help out the channel, you can go ahead and just you know, hit that subscribe button, hit follow, hit like, uh, whatever, and that will go a long way. Like I said, the, the bigger the channel gets, um, and the more people interact with it the more likely bigger things will come. And I absolutely, like I said, I appreciate every single one of you that you know, gave me the support, gave me the push um, to push for the game store. But like I said, it just doesn't seem right now is the right time. Um, a lot of people don't really care about it. And I, you know, I thought it was going to be a great idea. Uh, the Boogie and MTG headquarters and Darium seem to... Um, but there's nothing really in this area, even though I pass out the flyers and try to engage with local um, Facebook groups and Craigslist through these areas. Uh, they just can't really gauge interest. And, you know, as much as I'd like to, I'd love to get a loan just to start. If I had the money, I would just immediately start it. Um, but there might be some other ideas we can use this in. We can maybe have um, conventions with the bits and pieces name. Um, with some charity events, um, stuff like that. So we'll figure out that as time goes on. Now, I just released a video today about, um, it's the Game Feed episode about death threats. Wish you guys would check that out. Um, I think uh, it covers covers pretty good things of what's been going on online. But also, uh, here in a couple of weeks, I go to get my shoulder taken a look at, see if I can get that fixed up, and... Uh, as far as my medicine though it goes, I still haven't got insurance yet to pay the medication, so that's going to be rough getting that. So I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me. I don't want that. Um, if anything, I want you guys to, if you pray or if you want to send good vibes to me or whatever you you do in your life um, to make people feel better, you know, feel free to send them my way. And also, if you have people around you but having a hard time. Um, just talk to them, and if you yourself have a hard time, you know, just give me a shout um, via you know whatever uh, social media means you want to, and I'll do my best to get a hold of you as soon as I can. Um, now again, I do apologize for shutting those down. Um, like I said I don't think it would have been fair to um, put something out considering I'm in this situation I'm in, and I just don't want. I I, I would feel that it would only be hurting myself but um, once we get caught up in everything and once uh, the channel takes off um, we'll try again uh, we may not be in this area maybe somewhere else but we will try to make it work somehow it might not be a shop it could be conventions or you know just a charity but my whole goal of that was to help people and help out gamers as well and just have a place of convenience just to hang out and uh, just play games with people, you know, they don't normally not get a chance to, and just be a part of something special. And now, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And thank you so much, uh, Boogie, for, you know, cheering me on. Same with you, MTG Headquarters, and whoever else is supported. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.